Hello everybody, welcome back to Sky Factory 3, Night Wrath here, by myself. Yep, unfortunately, Pam is still in the hospital with her daughter, and we don't know when she's coming back. It could be a few days, it may be longer than that, so we don't want to put any undue stress on her to have her hop into the game and, you know, do things. And, you know, force a schedule on her. So right now, I just wanted to do an update video to show you guys what all I've done off camera as well as her when she could. There's been a lot. We are still not to where we were last time when we quit playing the game. And that's why I wanted to give you guys a heads up. Hey, episode 5, where are we now? Well, you can see I'm on day 751. Now keep in mind the server is running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, unless I reboot it for some reason and forget to turn it back on, but it's it's been a lot of time. So let's go ahead and get out of this mode and give you a look you see here. This ender lily, maybe once a day I think, gives me an ender pearl. It's not really good, and when it's fully healthy, it will cause damage, just not right now. Let's go over here. Oh, speaking of, I now have a jetpack. I built a vibrant jetpack. Let's turn that off for a second and I'll show you that. It's really not hard to build the jetpacks. I built this actually very early on. You can build a most basic model with just a leather strap, capacitor, some conductive iron which you get in the alloy smelter, and these conductive iron thrusters which are just basic gears, redstone circuits, not conduit, not to be confused with energy conduit, uh, but redstone conduit, some conductive iron again, and basic years. No big deal. Real easy to make. I went up through all the tiers. Energetic took a little bit of work. All the way to Vibrant. And Vibrant requires Vibrant Alloy, which is Energetic Alloy, which is these three items. So, you know, with the chickens we got going on right now, it wasn't too hard to make. Uh, the hardest part was uh, the thrusters, really. Vibrant crystals is just an emerald around vibrant alloy, which again is not hard to make. It just took time. I needed a mob farm to get the ender pearls. That was the biggest challenge there. Now I also built the armor pack for it, which is dark steel, which is not too hard to get either. Alloy smelters, put dark steel in there, all the way down to the bare boat basic, which is silicon armor plating. And that gives me basically the same kind of protection as um, Ooh, it must be. Oh, it's charging. Interesting. Okay, the reason it's charging is because of this, the dark helm that I have on right now. I actually built this today. <laughs> Believe it or not, I needed some night vision uh, for the beneath. So I built the dark helm, which is just five dark steel. Big deal. And you put it in an anvil with certain things to give you empowered sound locator, night vision, and solar charging. Now, I can't build the top tier solar panel yet. Um, I forgot what it needs. Let's see. It's easier to do this. I need to do solar 2, a vibrant photovoltaic. <laughs> vibrant. Let's just do vibrant foe. It requires an ender crystal. Uh, all the rest is easy. Um, an ender crystal is a soul vial from an enderman, which I need to find an enderman to grab his soul. And a vibrant crystal, which is easy. And it's using a soul binder. I technically could do it because my mob farm, let's go ahead and ignore this. My mob farm has an ender tether in it, but the endermen are still getting out. Now you see it's three tiers. There's a reason for that. And hopefully you can hear me over the sound of my jetpack. The first tier is the same you guys saw me build with the stairs. I did two more tiers. The top tier is another mob farm with the gap way over here there's three wide and then it falls down into a platform with a hole in the middle of witch water that's right so now i can get the wither dust and the wither skeleton skulls and this thing's been cranking out for a while um i put some mob mashers in here as well like you saw the last sky factory we did put some vector plates in there and my experience obelisk is at 336 isn't that ridiculous it's huge I mean it's got so and this is brand new honestly this is really two days at the most I got a trash can with some filters set to get rid of all the junk we don't need 
Honestly, we don't need a lot of it. I put a crafting unit down here, crafting grid. And this is what we kind of have over here. I'm not really wasting anything, so I kind of didn't need all these other bits and pieces. But um, yeah, I got 63 legendary loot bags, which is four times as many epics. And that's the epics what I need for other items. Let's get out of here. And this thing, by the way, makes a lot of mobs. I mean, almost 50 mobs every time it has a chance to fire off. It's a lot. We'll go to that in a second. All right, so I also expanded our crafting um, computer, uh, refined storage. I figured out how to work it last time. Remember that, guys? I was too lazy to rebuild it. I went ahead and put some crafters on top of some electric furnaces. Uh, they're called powered furnaces. They're doubled. I set it to where it automatically auto splits the items too so it burns through them quicker. We have importers across the bottom so the crafters throw the junk in there and the importers suck it out when it's done. I got an alloy smelter also up here automatically crafting things as I need them. And the reason I have so many of these is each of these has one real pattern that matters. As you can see for the circuitry. This way I'm not waiting an entire rotation to get things that I want. I recommend doing that. My solder is the same way. I have one of those. This is just um, a pattern I made for upgrades. One of those and one of those. So I can make one of each because normally it wouldn't make all three at once. It would make them and go through them and go through them and so through them and now it's going to make one at a time. I got my sag mill up here automatically grinding things up as I need them. I think it's just coal, yeah, coal powder. And my slice and spice for the Z logic controllers I needed to make some other things. Um, the farming station, I believe. The vibrant capacitor bank. This thing is nice. This thing holds a ton of power. It holds 50, um, no, 20 million RF. And these guys are easy to build too once you have. The, the the basic model, which is the basic capacitor banks, that, they were fine. Now they just charged really slow. So I built the fiber capacitor bank, which requires um, electrical steel, I think it was. Yeah, and all this. So it was a bit to get to that. Electrical steel requires the coal powder as well. Irony gets in silicone. So I built all this. It's all automated. Even got my little atomic reconstructor over here. I just press a button on occasion to watch it go. Furnaces, I got rid of most of them. I hung up my key and my assembly assembler over here. Uh, I did upgrade these guys to Mark II, which is the best I want to do right now because they are expensive to go to Mark III. It requires Dragon Breath. I've not been to the end. And of course, I've got Tier Three cobblestone generators. Up here, hmm, what is this? Well, I'm collecting cobblestone, I'm compressing it, I'm hammering the compressed cobblestone to make the gravel, hammering the gravel to make sand, hammering the sand to make dust, and compressing the dust. So everything's being compressed. I'm only sifting one guy here because all I want out of this, um, God, why was I doing this? I don't even remember anymore. It was very important that I did this too. I don't know. I made this for a reason. What is that? Compressed sand? Let's see. God, I needed something. Very important. Mm, what's going to be used for if I sieve it with a diamond sieve? Oh, I need a prosperity shards. Yes, prosperity shards, because I need it to start upgrading my essences. Uh, my essences are going to be used to make my supremium armor eventually, which gives me flight without worrying about power. Um, I also built the Empowerer, and I got some things running on here for the uh, farming for greenhouse glass, which I have not made. I don't think I'm going to need to. I'll show you why. I built my Reborn Storage, which holds all of my um, patterns now that I can't build in a machine. And as big as it is, honestly, take a, take a look here. How many on page one of 50? I mean, I think I have, um, let's see, is it 25? I think I have two rows of pattern machines and three rows of um, crafting computers, CPUs. 
as far as I am into this so far, I'm only one page in. I'll probably be a page and a half tonight because I'm going to do all the armor upgrades. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I probably won't need all 50 pages. What else is there over here? Um, all right. So I got, um, since this thing runs all the time now, I got, what is it, 16 cobblestone generator tier 3. So I got a few upgrades in the speed upgrades to make the octuple compressed cobblestone. I finally have one. That's all you need for the achievement. So I can technically turn this off now, but it doesn't cost any power, so whatever. It's running. The smeltery's doing its smelting. These are Pam's chickens. I'm not sure what you saw in episode four. We were going to do a tall room, but she couldn't reach them all. So this is the first phase of chickens. She's missing one because she is breeding it. This is the second phase. This whole room will also be filled just as well for high. And then if I have to, we'll go up another row or two up here. We'll see. I built a temporary house because I was AFKing a lot, so I just kind of built this real quick to hang out here when I was AFKing. You know, I like to watch movies and TV shows, and I'll turn on Stargate right now is what my latest fix is, and um, our Preacher or some other movie, and I'll just sit and watch it. And, like, I don't play like playing Minecraft. I don't want to load it back up when I'm ready to play, and I might play for 10 minutes, so... I'll just hang out here because I was having an issue with a couple mobs spawning. I think I fixed them, but... I didn't want killed for stupid reasons. Over here is where I kill the wither. This is my favorite setup so far for manually killing them. It's a box about, um, what is it, seven wide, seven by seven. So the inside is three by th five by five. The outside is three by two with a single doorway. What you do is you place the wither. If you notice, I have a, a little divider here, and I hide on this side. I will spawn the wither. I'll back up a safe distance where he explodes somewhere over there. I'll come back here. I'll stand about right here. Let me turn the lights on here. Whee! That's my dark helmet. I'll just beat him all up. I will beat him till he's dead and he can't even hit me once. I think I killed him like six times and took zero damage. Cheaty? Yeah, Scott Battery 3, leave me alone. What else do we have here? Um, all right, um, the farms. Let me show you the farms. Currently the wheat farm is turned off because I wanted to say this is a surprise. I want her to see it in action. But you'll get an idea of how fast this thing goes by watching the essence farms. Take a look at this. We're going to sit here quietly and just watch the beautiful farm just grow and be harvested. Grow and be harvested grow and be harvested. You're kind of wondering, wow, how does that thing go so fast? <laughs> Let me show you. Ooh, so these here are my growth crystals. Yes, these are my growth crystals. And that wheat grows faster than what I imagined. I just, it just can't keep up with it. it grows so fast. Uh, my son said, Dad, why don't you put on two or three farmers to handle it? I go, no. It's fine the way it is. I mean, it's clearly going fast enough for what we, our needs are. Um, if there's a problem with our essences, let's see what we have right now. We have 200 stacks here and 1,600 stacks here. If there's a problem, I will increase it. And keep in mind, that's only tier one essence out there. I was thinking about upgrading it all to tier five to get five per click. We're gonna see where this takes us. So I think that's about it. Yeah, I have a pickaxe. I, I mean, um, I used an all-in-one tool. Uh, if, you have, if you don't know what those are, it's a single tool that's a shovel, a hoe, an axe, um, sword, and I'm missing something. A single tool does it all. And I put mending on it, silk touch, and efficiency five. And I did that from the enchanter which you saw in my previous Sky Factory series. Um, I needed this for mycelium to make, um, what was it, the witch water. So I think we're catching up to about where we were. We're gonna hold off on solar panel because I wanna do tier three solar. And uh, maybe tier four, depends what we can build. I went to the beneath to get some ore and we actually can go there now. The problem I had was, <laughs> 
I forgot you need... Oh, it actually already went. Never mind. I went over here. Let's see if I crash out. The last time I did this, the whole game crashed. Oh, oop, oop. Did it crash? Did it crash? I think it crashed. Yep. Let's get back in here. There's a problem sometimes when I'm flying that it crashes in the first login. But then the second time I go into it, I'm in. So here I am. I'm loaded right up to it. Now it is dark in here. Very, very dark. And I came here and I'm like, all right, I did some mining. I was all happy. I was all excited. I was like, man, I can't get diamond ore. What's going on? I forgot <laughs> that I needed <laughs> silk touch. So now I have it. So we're good. So we got that. Um, the nether, I'll go, I can't go there. I can't, I could if I had it turned back on. Too many pigmen were coming out. We went to the nether. I built a platform um, 25 away. Actually, more like 35 away. Big enough to get another chicken. We got the nether, the nether quartz chicken and a soul sand chicken as well. And um, it didn't take long. Maybe 20 minutes this time versus the last time we played. It took me like forever. Um, and I think they added the soul sand chicken this latest version, 1.13. Uh, I, I think you could grow it last time yourself, but you have to grab it this time. So... It took a little longer to get those, but after that, I killed the platform. I didn't want things spawning on it because the pigmen were spawning way too much on me. And they were still coming through with no platform, so I just basically just turned off the portal. And I don't mind pigmen. They don't hurt you, but I might hit them by accident because they aggravate me. That's about it. Um, I guess I wanted to... My next thing to do is to build Supremium Armor. And that's going to be a bit. So, super, supremium, S-U-P-R-E-M-I-U-M. And you got to build it all. It's like so much work. So you got to have this pattern for the main unit. This is the one thing I did not want to do again. you got to have this for that unit. Um, okay. Which we have. Then you have to have this one. Okay, that's the blue one with the intermediate in the middle. Okay. Then we have to go down again. We build it like that. And then we have to go down to this one. Yep, which is Inferium Core. And then we have to go down again to this one. And I don't know if we have enough leather to make all this stuff. But let us see if we have what we need to make this now. Drop it all off. Is the helmet here? Nope, it's right there. Okay, let's see if we can do this. You know, the first one's always the hardest because all the rest use the same, um, well, no, 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 the same, all the rest use those anyway, so. Let's see if we can make what we need here. We're missing a base essence ingot, another star, and some premium ingots. All right, let's look for those. Oh, we gotta make each one of these too, don't we? Okay, so there's we're making the red ones. So the hardest one's the very first one. We gotta make the blue ones. And we gotta make the orange ones. <laughs> and we gotta make the green ones. Can you imagine making this back in the day by hand? That's how I made my first suit before I actually had all this. And that's why I just put it off till now. Fortunately, the jetpack is in the game. So I was able to figure it out. And there's prosperity shards right there. Alright, I think that was it. And there was one more thing I needed to make. What was it? Um... Hmm. Maybe it's part of this. No? I 
No, I think we're okay. Let's go turn these in and see what, drop these off, see what happens. Can I put these in here? No, I can't. So now I'm going to go page 3 of 50. All right, all right. I only have two nether stars, so I need to farm the wither a little bit longer. Let's see, only craftables. Let's try to craft this helm again. Let's see what we're missing this time. I'm missing another stars. Okay, that's easy. We'll drop two off in there. Let us craft this helm. Bam. Done. How long is it going to take? Let's take a look here. Oh, we need to cancel this. We've already made that. It's the, something's wrong with it. It's not doing it right. So it's going to go through all those iterations to make that helm. So this is much faster than if I was doing it. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's done. All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and tell it how to make some boots. I like shoes. Same thing, same stuff. It should be very easy to make this. Let's drop this off. Page two. Hey, what happened to another stuff? I'll put on page three by accident. No worries. I don't care where the page is. Let's start this one off. I wonder how many essences. Oh, okay. It's going to use 850 of these prodigium essences, which is of the light green, because I made, I made thousands of them to try to give me more room. Uh, multiply this by four, honestly. So that's going to be like um, 16, 3200. Yeah. 3200 of the base Inferium essences. It's expensive. All right, so let's see, soul sand, turn off the crafting. We need two more withers to complete our outfit to get free flight. And we need wither skulls as well. All right, let's get rid of this and let's find those shoes. Here's my helmet, there's my shoes. Now they're not charged up at all. I mean, these guys have no bonuses, none at all. And I wonder, well, I can't use the helm yet. Let's put the boots on. I should have made pants. All right, so we at least get the boots on. And I'll show you how we kill the wither. Let's see, get this stuff out of here. You're going to laugh, honestly. It's just so easy. Watch me die. Arrows, get some more arrows. We got a crappy bow. Uh, let's throw this in here, too. I don't want to get blown up or something stupid. I really want to get this thing automated. I told you that last <laughs> last Sky Factory. But I like the new updates. Everything seems to run a little bit smoother. Um, I don't know if it's because I don't have any automations going or not. Rawr, Mr. Flame Goat. So I'm not sure how I many of you guys actually watched this series. I watched my other series that I play with Pam. So I might have to make another video. I might start playing single player Seven Days to Die. I've been debating doing subsistence. I've been debating it a lot. Um, I don't know if I can stick with that for the long haul. I might be able to play it once a week, but it really is a very slow grind. Not like Minecraft Sky Factory 3 isn't, but this has more, I guess, rewards, if you will. Almost instant gratification where... I don't get all that with <laughs> subsistence. I get a lot of pain and suffering. I enjoy it for short periods of time, but then I can find myself putting it down and not playing it again for two or three weeks. I've actually been playing it part-time um, here and there, but it doesn't keep calling me back. The latest update they did with um, the canteens, that was really neat. Let's see where I'm hiding under my little thing here. Yeah, it's, it's cheesy. And he's not broken. He will still fire at you. Let me see if I can get him to fire at me over here. Whoop. Come on, fire at me. He still fires, trust me. I've seen him fire before, but he just can't see me to fire. So there we go. One more star. Let's go make me some pants. Gotta get the matching ensemble here. Some pants. And the same as before, we're just going to build a template for it, and just like before, and we'll have pants. I've heard some um, people say, oh man, playing this like this is kind of cheaty. 
Um, once you get everything automated, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's cheating. It's in the game, so definitely use it. Um, I like it when everything's automated toward the end because it's just still down the ground right there. I don't need that. Stupid. Um, I don't know. I, I like it. I like the big machines, big automations. I um, like to punch because it's not like it. T I just spent five seconds and built this. This is like a lot of work to get as far as we've gotten. So, but I understand when people can say, "Oh, well, you have this going now. Everything you build is automatic. There's really no challenge anymore." That's part of the fun of Minecraft. Not to me. I like building my patterns, throwing the stuff in here, and hoping I have enough resources to build it. That's where the fun comes out for me. So. Yeah, come on, keep going. I built five infusion crystals too because it can't use the same crystal to do the same job. It needs one per task. And so I had to build the extra ones. And the reason I don't have this on right now because my dark helmet gives me night vision and no, I don't get that otherwise. So yeah, there's that. So now I have the armor on. I'll put the helm on later. Um, I need to do the upgrades. So I'm going to put, I normally have wither resistance on one of my pieces of gear, but since the wither's never even hitting me anymore, I built that place pretty well. I'm probably going to go for a different one, like fire resistance um, or absorption instead. I don't think I need speed. I'm pretty darn fast already. So we got to build a tinkering table and get the right charms going. If you guys remember, these were kind of a pain in the butt, too. But once you stick in the machine, it's not a big deal. Honestly, everything is easy once you get it all set up. Um, does it really matter what the tinkering table is made out of? I think it's just color, right? I don't want to take any chances. I need soul stone. What's that? Any stone... Any soul sand. Okay, let's build um let's just build a few of those. I need the ingots. Let's um build mm, we're not doing that today, are we? Only craftables. Let's build um let's build ten of these. Get those going. And now we can build a tinkering table. Let's spell that right. <laughs> tinking, not tinking. Are you tinking? I'm tinking. I'm thinking of something between one and three. Oh, not yet. Let's try it again. There we go. All right, our tinking table is complete. Don't know where we're going to stick it. This wall is not big enough what we have going on here. We'll put it over here. Why not? Bam. All right, so that gives you guys a good update. It's also going to let you guys know why it is that I don't hear my sounds anymore. Well, good. You don't get to hear the jetpack anymore. Good. That's good for you. Good for me. Um, that's where we stand. I've got this form expanded out, too, so when I get the new crops coming through, remember all the essences we had, the iron, and the uh, dark, whatever stuff, uh, the dragon, draconium, that's it. We're going to keep on building this, but you probably won't see many videos from me at all. In fact, this will probably be the only Minecraft video we see all week. We're still trying to catch up. Like I said, no one, none of us are really playing that much right now. We're pretty much just kind of on standby, waiting to get it, hear from her daughter and see how she's doing. So that's it. We're still here. We're still going to come back and get back to normal once we're done. But just want to get the guys that are watching this series kind of looking for more updates. You won't see, but probably this one this week. And if this is going on, maybe another one next week to catch you up. I am not going to progress past our last progression, no matter what, um, until she's back. So, But we still have plenty, plenty more hours before that even happens. Uh, at least another 20 or 30 more hours of play time to get at that point. Because it's slow when you're by yourself. Plus, I'm very specifically um, in these sections. So it does make it different as well. You know, it makes it a little bit more harder to build these things. Not just throwing things really nearly anyway. you got to plan things out. All right, but I know I went on a little longer than I wanted to, but again, thanks for watching, everyone. And if you make comments, um, place them below. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.